Hey, I'm Jeff and welcome back to another video. About six months ago, I developed a modular plank system with a small rooting window at the extension pieces as a solution for when the plant outgrows the plank. It's just a simple way to do a chop and extend. When a plant is growing on a wood support system here, like this pothos plant, and it reaches the top of the plank, you cannot just cut anywhere along the stem and then take that cutting and put it in a container of soil. Roots that grow on a plank or attached to a plank are not the same as soil roots. Plank roots or these aerial roots on a plank are simply or they are primarily for supporting the plant as it grows up the wood plank. Now when I say primarily for support, they may ab obtain some ambient um, humidity and that sort of thing, but the way that the plant uh, grows uh, or obtains its uh, water and nutrients is still from the soil. So if you just make a cut along the stem and you put it in a container of soil or a, a container of water, it's probably not going to survive. And I've done this before with a, a Cebu Blue Pothos. Um, it didn't work out very well. Now, when you have a plant like this pothos right here on a moss pool, this is different because the moss is an extension of the soil. So your plant will grow these roots into the moss and they will obtain water and nutrients from the moss as well as uh, as well as the soil. So that's the difference between a moss pole and a plank. Now each of them have their benefits as well as their downsides. The main benefit for the moss pole is it's very easy to do the chop and extend because you will have roots already growing in the moss. Uh, the downside is you pretty well have to keep the moss uh, fairly damp or moist at all times and moss as well as their accessories can be fairly expensive. And for the plank it's a very low maintenance um, type process and I just use reclaimed wood. This is a piece from uh, my kid's playhouse, which we tore down a little while ago. So uh, very cheap, very easy, um, but your plant will rely on the soil roots for growth. That's why I designed this plank method with that small little moss window. Uh, it combines both the effectiveness of the rooting with the moss, as well as the simplicity, I guess, uh, the low maintenance of the, uh, the plank system. So you can see this is where those extension pieces uh, attach to each other. Um, don't pay attention to the rough mock-up of the plank itself. This is simply version one. I have many versions, um, I guess planned. Uh, I, I have different modifications that I wanna do uh, with the plank down the road. So what I wanted to focus on in this video is how this little moss window worked. Um, I can't believe it actually worked the way it, it was uh, designed to. You can see there's some pretty chunky roots coming out the bottom. So there's just a small little container at the back here. You can see there's roots. So I'm gonna take this over to the plant table. I'm gonna take this uh, bottle off or this plastic container off. We'll look at the roots and then I will do a chop and extend. Um, if you have a plant that's growing on a plank and it's losing all its leaves, uh, it's probably root bound. And just so you can see, this is full of roots it's literally coming out the bottom. So that's my fault. I should have upsized it into something a little bit larger um, just so that the plant doesn't lose all its lower uh, leaves like it did. And the pot is cracked. So it'll be getting a fresh new terracotta pot and yeah, don't let it get to uh, uh, something like this. I seem to have lost my utility knife and I'm just gonna use a small little pair of scissors here, these little sewing scissors. And I'm just gonna cut the tape just like that and that way we can get to the roots on the back here. This is Gorilla Tape so it's holding up nice and strong here. Unfortunately I don't have any more of this tape but we'll see what we can do with, I'll maybe have to get a new container to uh, make it a little bit of a larger rooting area. I'm just gonna peel that back. Look at those roots. Um, yeah, this worked out so well. Now the top portion should have no problem transitioning um, into soil just because these are technically classified as soil roots now. They are not anchoring. They are growing into a growing medium like this. And now I can simply take the top portion and put it back in a pot. I just can't get over like these chunky roots and just how well this actually rooted into the small little container. This is absolutely crazy. So yeah, this has uh, exceeded my expectations with this little project. Now I'm just gonna undo these screws which hold these two planks together. Um, and then I will make the cut along the stem here and then I can simply take the top portion and it'll be free from the uh, uh, top of the uh, original plank. 
All right, I actually forgot. I bought a brand new utility knife, so fresh out of the package. Now I'm just going to look at where I want to make the cut. The bottom of the rooting window is right there and the top is obviously up there. So um, I'm gonna be cutting this leaf off. You can see there's a little bit of damage. I did have some uh, issues with thrips. Um, that's what these little spots are. It, uh, it can be consistent with uh, spider mite and thrip damage. Um, so this leaf, I'm just going to slice off like that. Fresh blade, cuts like butter. And then I'm gonna get these leaves out of the way so you can see what's going on. So I'm just gonna slice those off like that. Now I'm gonna make the cut in between these two nodes. And I'm going to make a nice clean cut somewhere like right there. Whoops, I gotta go a little bit into the moss here just to get through the stem completely. Making sure I don't get caught up on the wood there like that. So the stem is cut. Now I don't wanna go any further cause I don't wanna cut any roots um, in the moss right there. Okay, I just wanted to show this. I wanted to move the stem apart here just so I could let this part callous over before I put it in uh, a soil or a new pot of soil. But I just wanna show like how solid this is on the plank. Like I'm prying that off. Okay, finally. I'm just undoing these two screws here and then the top plank should be free. And next time I'm going to be using, whoa. Um, next time I'm gonna be using some uh, smaller screws and then I'm actually going to be trying uh, some dowels, some wood dowels to connect the pieces. So here is my completely separate uh, top cutting on my wood plank. I am so happy with how this turned out. I'm gonna try and remove some of this moss just so it doesn't hold on to like excess moisture when it's in soil, but I am uh, completely blown away with how this actually performed or, or how it turned out on the wood plank here. This is awesome. Now I've kind of identified a little bit of a problem and it's my mistake. I didn't let this grow far enough up onto the wood plank where the uh, new aerial roots latch onto the wood. It is all like primarily attached to uh, the moss on the back. So I'm not going to be removing the moss just because this is kind of what's holding it in place right now. And if I remove the moss, it's basically just gonna fall off. So I'm gonna leave it as is, but for next time, um, I should have let it grown uh, probably about like halfway up here before I actually took it off the plank, but it should be fine. I'm going to place it in a new pot and there's enough roots in here that um, it shouldn't be an issue when you put it in soil or you can simply just pot it up in a container of moss as well. Like if you're concerned about um, the roots rotting, I do have another philodendron that is growing just strictly in moss and it's doing well, but I think I'm going to uh, add it into a nice chunky aeroid mix and it should be fine. I'm just gonna move this over here. And like with all my repotting projects, I am using the Very Plans Molly's Aeroid Mix. I do have a discount code uh, down in the description of this video if you wanna give it a try. I'm just gonna put a little bit of soil in the bottom of this new terracotta pot. I'm using terracotta uh, for a couple of reasons. It's a little bit heavier than a plastic nursery pot, so it's gonna add that extra support and stability. And then also, um, it can be used for, uh, it's very good at absorbing soil moisture and it can uh, help it dry out quickly. So again, came to another little problem right there. I do have a portion of the moss sticking outside of the soil. So I'm just gonna bury this down a little bit deeper and I'm actually going to remove the lowest leaf here as well, just because I don't want that below the soil line. I'm just gonna cut that off with my super dull pruning shears. Like it's time for some new ones. Where's my utility knife? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It doesn't even cut anymore. So don't do that folks. There. Okay, now I'm gonna put this a little bit lower in the pot like that. So all those roots uh, in the moss are covered. So that worked out good like that. And you can see this is how it's going to sit in the pot. And now all I'm gonna do is add in the soil. And I'm gonna be tilting it just slightly backwards because as the plant grows, uh, whether it's on a moss pole or a plank, if you have it straight up 
Over time, as the plant grows, it's gonna get uh, larger and it gets heavier and it tends to wanna pull it forward. So I'm just gonna angle it slightly backwards. And then I'm just gonna add in the soil around the roots. I'd be a little more concerned about the moss that's remaining on the plank if I was using just a straight, uh, like regular potting soil. But this is a, uh, a nice chunky aeroid mix. There's lots of airflow, um, shouldn't be an issue. I wanna make sure that this plant does not come off the plank. And I'm gonna angle it backwards like that. Just lightly pack it down. making sure it's staying upright. This whole process is essentially just air layering from the back. You don't have to remove the plant from the plank. You just grow roots from the backside. You see right there, I've got all the roots above the soil there. So I'm just gonna cover those as best as I can. And then I'll give it some water here just so they don't dry out there. So it's covered for the most part. Just gonna lightly pack that down. Again, I don't wanna dislodge that plant off the plank there. Now it should, in theory, continue to grow uh, with the thicker stem and hopefully get larger leaves on the plank like that. Now I'm not gonna add the extension piece in today's video just because I want this plant to, uh, to continue to grow up the plank here, get a little more of a root system just to add some stability for the, uh, the weight of the plank. But here are the wood dowels. Uh, and again, this is just a very rough uh, concept. Um, I did drill some holes in the top so that these dowels fit in like that. Uh, get in there. So when it comes to adding the extension piece, they also have those pre-drilled slots and then you can simply connect the two pieces together and then you'll have another little uh, growing window to do a chop and extend. Down the road, I do wanna make some modifications to the actual plank itself. This is a three quarter inch pine. It's been repurposed from my kids' bunk beds. They are wood slats for the mattress. So I do wanna use something a little bit thicker, maybe uh, one inch or maybe an inch and a quarter thickness just to accommodate the wood dowels just a little bit better and maybe a little bit of a wider plank uh, as well. So that's something that I'm gonna play with down the road. Now, one thing I think I mentioned in in the original video is I was wondering if when the plant reached the little window if the leaf size would change and it looks like it has gotten a little bit smaller so uh, it's something that I'm going to keep an eye on and just see if uh, if it affects the plant um, going forward kind of thing so it might get larger leaves and then downsize a little bit once it uh, changes the growing medium from the wood to the moss so um, this is what I love about this channel is I continuously learn and yeah, just learn off of the plant itself. Um, just making little modifications and just seeing how the plant grows with different methods. So let me know down in the description of this video what you think of this modular plank system. Maybe you have some suggestions to make it better as well. But I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave it down below in the comment section. Uh, thanks for watching all my videos and thank you for the ongoing support. I do appreciate it. So thanks for watching. Take care, bye.